Hi, well, um, I'd like to just make a little short video about something that I, I didn't know anything about until a few days ago. It's a thing called norosporosis. And it's spread by this stuff. Yep, lovely dog poo. Um, now, I'm told it's a little parasite, okay, that is um, in dog muck and um, it actually can transfer to cattle and this is a, caused us a real problem and I'll tell you the problem it caused us. Um, we had uh, some young cattle, two young heifers that were due to calf uh, and we looked at them and thought, hmm, they don't seem to be in calf, they didn't show any signs of being pregnant. So we had the vet come and check them. Um, and the vet said, yep, they've not got a calf inside them, they seem to have lost it somewhere. Unfortunately, the calf had died or, or aborted somehow. Um, and they took a blood test for a thing called norosporosis. Okay, so the thing was, I'd never heard of norosporosis before. I didn't know what it was on about. And I thought, actually, I don't know why you're bothering testing it. Um, but I do know now what it's about. Um, it's a parasite that's spread by dogma and it does cause um, infertility and abortions in cattle. And when the uh, vet rang up with the blood test results, it, it came back positive for this. Um, so this is just a little video to tell you um, about walking dogs in the countryside, uh, because I've become aware of the problem in the, since this has happened to us. Um, if you're gonna walk your dog on farmland, it's very important that you pick up your dog muck. I know that's not a great thing to do, um, and you know, on a cold day, your dogs are running in the fields and you think it doesn't really matter. But the thing is, those fields are the food or pasture and pasture for cows to graze on. And what's happening is if your dog has got an infection of norosporosis, when it messes in the, in the grass, it actually spreads that um, parasite into the grass and it can be active for up to six months. Now the thing is, once that cow has been infected, not only can it lose its calf, but it's, it's then infected for life. It can transmit this virus to its young cattle, uh, young offspring, and more than likely it will become infertile, um, which is the case with the two which we've got, two heifers we've got. So realistically, it will kill young calves if in the, in the mother's womb. So what I'm saying to you now is, if you're watching this video and you're a dog walker, you know, as a farmer, I'm always, you know, I like to chat to people walking the dogs. And it's always quite nice to see someone in the countryside enjoying it. But please think about taking a bag with you and picking up your um, cat, your dog poo in the um, country, in the fields. I know it's easy to think it's in a field. What does it matter? But it does matter to me mm -hmm. and to other farmers like myself. Um, if you haven't got a bag, maybe you could think about, you know, fl finding a stick and flicking it into the hedgerows or something. Mm -hmm. It's also very important to worm your dog. Um, you know, because they can transmit worms across two animals. Um, but, but more than anything, enjoy the countryside, but enjoy your dog. But main thing is to think, careless dog poo costs lives. And it costs the life of a calf if your dog has got norosporosis. And it's not a symptom that you can actually easily see. Um, but if you want to look up on the internet, Google norosporosis, you'll find a lot more information about it than I can give you, um, because I'm only, a dairy farmer who's got an issue with it. Um, I don't know everything about veterinary um, aspect of life. So please look up norosporosis. Just remember, careless dog poo costs lives and uh, we'll all get along well together. Okay, cheers. Enjoy your dog walking. Bag it and bin it. Cheers.